वेलकम इन ऑनलाइन टीचिंग गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम महेश कुमार यू मैस टीचर एज आर चैप्टर नंबर थर्ड होल नंबर्स इज गोइंग ऑन इन विच टूडे वी विल लर्न सब्टशन सो हेयर इज वन क्वेश्चन हेयर इन विच वी हैव टू परफॉर्म द फॉलोइंग सब्टशन एंड देन वी हैव टू चेक द रिजल्ट ऑल्सो बाय द करस्पॉन्डिंग एडिशन As you are seeing here, there are two questions. So what we will do first? First, we will arrange these numbers in column and then subtract. As I have done. Now, as you are seeing, now what we will do? We have to check the correctness of this subtraction. By how? By adding the difference and subtract. now as you are seeing after addition if we got the same value after the addition and with the value in minuend if the both the values are same that means our subtraction is correct as you are seeing here both the values are same that means our subtraction is correct now let's take one more question here again what we will do first we will arrange in column and then we will subtract and then what we will do we will add the difference and the subtract and if we got the same value as in minuend that means our subtraction is correct as you are seeing here both the values are same after the addition and the value in minuend in subtraction both the values are same that means our subtraction is correct now let's solve another kind of question here here we have to replace replace each asterisk by the correct digit in each of the following so here are the missing digits what we will do first First, we will replace these asterisks by the boxes, as I have done. As I have done. Now, as you are seeing, we start the subtraction from the ones place. So, as you are seeing at the ones place, it is two and nine, and we have to subtract two from nine, but we can't. So, this two will take borrow. So, this two will become twelve. And this seven will become six. So after subtracting nine from twelve, twelve we will got three, and we know six minus six zero. Again, the next number, as you are seeing, by subtracting any number in one, we can't get nine. So that means definitely this one has taken borrow, and this one has become eleven by taking borrow. and when you will subtract 2 from this 11 you will got 9 and now as you are saying this 6 has become 5 and we know if we subtract 3 from 5 we will got 2 here so by this way we can get all the missing digits now the same we will do for the next question First, we will replace the asterisks by the boxes, and then we will start from the ones place. As you are seeing, at the ones place, we can't subtract seven from three. So, what we will do? We will take. So this three will take borrow. So this three will become thirteen, and all the other zero will become nine, and this one will become zero. Then when then we can subtract seven from thirteen. We will got six and nine minus eight. We will got one and nine minus nine. We will got zero. Again, we can't subtract six from zero. So what we will do? We will take borrow. So this zero will become ten and other zero will become nine, and the five will become four. And now we can subtract ten minus six four. Now in the next, uh, we are seeing we have to get four. Now and we know nine minus five four. And nine minus one, eight. So, by this way, we have got 
all the missing digits now let's solve next question here we have to find the difference as you are seeing this difference we will solve in another way by the shortcut trick how as we know this 99 can be split as 100 minus 1 so we will split this 99 as 100 minus 1 and when you will open the bracket this minus will become positive because of the minus then according to the board mass what we do first first we solve the addition so we will add this one in 5632 so this will become 5633 and then we will subtract the 100 then we will got 5533 now as you are seeing we are using so many steps but when you will when this method is pretty much clear to you then you will do this these steps in your mind as you are seeing how we can use this shortcut trip in mind as you are seeing this 99 can be split as 100 and 1 and what is the pattern we add 1 so after adding this 1 in 5632 it will become 5633 and after subtracting 100 we will got 5533 so by this way we can solve this question in our mind now the same we will do in the second one as you are seeing here it is 999 now we can split this 999 as 1000 minus 1 again we will open the bracket and the sign will change because of the minus sign before the bracket and then we add 1 in 8640 so it will become 8641 and when we will subtract 1000 from this we will got 7641 which is our final answer so th this matter method we can use in these type of situations now let's solve next question here we have to find the whole number n when n plus 35 equals to 100 when and second in second one n minus 20,568 equals to 21,403 so how we will do first we will in the first one as you are seeing this plus 35 will shift in the right hand side as this 35 is positive when it will move in right hand side it will become negative then after the subtraction we will got the result that means n equals to 66 now in the second one the 20,568 is negative when we, we will move this number in right hand side then the sign will change so this negative will become positive and after addition we will got the final result that means n equals to 41,971 which is our final answer. So students this is all for today. We will learn more in the next session. Thank you and have a nice day.